Morgen, guten Tag, guten Abend. in Poland and was is the capital city of Poland. Poland is in Europe and I've been living here for approximately 12 years. <laughs> I'm an English teacher by profession. Formerly I used to be a journalist as well, a reporter for a newspaper and right now I have a website that's called Learn English with Africa, so at learnenglishwithafrica.com where I create different types of materials, short stories, grammar charts, vocabulary charts, so that you can learn English in the best conditions. So my channel, this channel is called Languages and Lifestyle because effective language learning depends on how you live, depends on what type of things you like, what type of videos you watch, what type of things you like doing on a daily basis. It depends on what you love, it depends on what you like reading, it depends on what you like to consume, it really depends on your lifestyle. So this is why my channel is called Languages and Lifestyle. I would like to thank one of my viewers for giving me the idea to do this video. So I'm going to talk about A2 uh, label in uh, Spanish. Is it easy or not? Of course it is, it's very easy. The Council of Europe has come up with a very useful framework for uh, dividing the different stages of language learning. So let me talk about the different levels of language learning that you will find. So you have six stages in total. These are A1 to A2 and uh, that's the beginner level. Then you have B1 and B2 and uh, these are intermediate levels. And lastly, you have C1 and C2. And these levels are for learners that have already reached an advanced stage of language learning. So you're wondering what A2 level of Spanish looks like. So this year I decided to study Spanish because I want to go to Spain and of course I'm at the beginner level. So from A1 to A2 you shouldn't expect to do complicated stuff. You learn basic things, you do simple sentences, you listen to uh, simple documents. But that doesn't stop you from being ambitious. A1 stage is really dedicated to discovery. You are hearing the language for the first time so you will start with the sounds of the language of course and uh, you're going to learn the alphabet so for you to be able to um, pronounce the words that you're going to learn later and then you're also going to learn basic uh, things like how to say your name, how to spell your name using the alphabet that you have just uh, learned. You're also going to learn about months to talk about, for example, your birthday when you were born. You're also going to learn about numbers to be able to give somebody uh, your telephone number or your address. At level A1, you are learning the basics. This is just the beginning. <laughs> I feel your presence on my skin I feel you spreading out within This time you gotta hold on me Cause now I look at you differently Differently
ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ So later on you move up to A2 and uh, remember you're still at beginner level. At A2 you're able to make um, some simple sentences. So you're able to uh, talk about your family so it can be your immediate family or your extended family. So your immediate family for example your mother, your father, your brothers or your sisters and somehow your extended family for example your uncles your aunts your grandfathers your grandmothers your great grandfathers etc so you see that it's just the basic level you are just talking about what's uh, immediate to your surroundings you're just talking about yourself I find German more difficult than Spanish. So learning um, things at the A2 level of Spanish is easier than I think learning uh, things at the A2 level of German, in my opinion. Because uh, when you compare the A2 level of Spanish to that of German or of Polish or I think of Chinese because you need to learn how to write the Chinese as well or Korean I think you should really really be ambitious and aim for the highest highest level which is C2 well first things first but A2 level uh, of Spanish is really easy you just need to um, do what you're supposed to do do the exercises learn and uh, get interested in the culture
<laughs> this dog is just <laughs> it's following. <laughs> Come. <laughs> it's so much fun. <laughs> Look at these beauties. So is A2 level in Spanish easy? I think it is way easier than uh, A2 level <laughs> of Spanish in Polish or in German. Way easier. So um, you should be ambitious. You should have goals. You should have clear goals. You should say, okay, I've been able to learn this. I can say this. I can uh, give my address. I can give my telephone numbers. You should... Um, Push yourself, you should urge yourself to do uh, things, to use the language. Do not be a passive learner. Because A2 Spanish is really easy. I know that there are some people who have difficulties in learning a language, but learning a language is not difficult. It's just listening to the sounds and uh, getting the music. It's just about um, putting in the work. Because uh, you can't spontaneously uh, learn a language like that because there is vocabulary to learn, there is grammar to learn, there are a lot of things to learn. So you need to put in the work, you need to be really interested in um, the learning process itself. You should be aware that um, you're doing something that is important. It's not something that you do leisurely like that. It has to be something that you really take seriously. And if you take something seriously, you're surely going to get the uh, desired results. I think A1 and A2 levels are critical levels because this is where you start to get interested in the language. So I think you should have the right introduction into the language right from the beginning because you have to keep the interest going. And um, at the very beginning, things are easy. So you're like, oh, it's easy. I can go on. And I think that um, the best way is really to start with the culture and to start uh, getting interested in um, what is likable about that culture. You should get interested in the culture. You should find things that you're going to like in that culture because words alone are not sufficient. So, um, for example, if you like uh, football or if you like Spanish uh, food or if you like uh, traveling, then you should find some uh, nice interests in um, the Spanish culture. Or the other things that um, you might uh, discover may be Spanish authors that have been translated into English. You have to find something that will keep your interest because words alone are not going to be sufficient. And uh, especially if you start with the language app, you're just going to do um, exercises that are not in context. So you're just going to play around with words and um, perhaps you're going to say a few sentences, but you're not going to build a solid foundation of that language language and of that uh, culture you're trying to get introduced into. To sum up everything, you have to have a keen interest not only in the language but also in the culture itself.
So as usual, I'm going to do some practice, some language practice. And today we're doing Spanish, of course, because today's video is about Spanish. Hola amigos, hola amigas, bienvenidos a mi canal Tandy in Poland. Mi nombre es Tandy, vengo de Malawi. Malawi es un pequeño y hermoso país. En realidad, este país está acopiado en el sureste de África. Ahora vivo en Varsovia, en Polonia, en Europa. Me gusta mucho la ciudad de Varsovia. Yo vivo con mi marido y mis dos hijas. Estoy feliz de vivir aquí. Oh, lo olvidé. También tengo un perro. Bueno, ese es el final del video. Muchas gracias por tu apoyo. Muchas gracias por ver los videos de mi canal. Hasta pronto todos.